My name is Grzegorz Marecki. I'm part of Edinburgh University Hype Loop team, Hyped. Uh, I'm Alexander robles Tomi. I'm a uh, postgraduate master's student and I'm studying at Harriet Watt University doing research in affiliation with the Hype Ed Society in Edinburgh University. I'm Stephanie Ebert and I'm a second year civil engineering student. I joined the Hype team last year in my first year and I've been working on it ever since. We are a group of over 80 students from two universities in Edinburgh and at Hyped we are redefining what cities are, how cities work by designing a new mode of transport, the Hyperloop. So Hyperloop is a term coined by Elon Musk in 2013 to describe a new mode of transport which uses a network of tubes that provide a partial vacuum environment for capsules moving at nearly sonic speeds. Effectively, the system recreates the low pressure environment that can be found at very high altitudes, but keeps the journey near to the ground level. Over the 20th century, there were multiple attempts to make high-speed travel and vacuum work, but it's only just now that we have the right technology to make this possible. Within just one year, our student team designed, built, and tested the UK's first prototype Hyperloop pod, and we are currently working towards designing components for the full-scale operational systems. It is expected that by the year 2050, over 70% of the world population will live in cities. That's an increase of over 2.5 billion people. Unless we take radical steps to redefine how our cities work, we can only expect that our already congested transportation networks will get only much, much more crowded. But how can we cope with this? Imagine what would happen if you could travel between any two cities in the UK within under one hour. The entire country would most likely be turned into a single metro area, giving us completely new opportunities on where to work, live and have fun. But what is it that civil engineers do on such projects? Travelling at the very high speeds that you'll find in the Hyperloop network, uh, you need the track to be as flat and level as possible. In a hilly country like the UK, what this means is you're going to have a lot of tunnels. And this is what led me into my research, which is in tunnel materials. Uh, specifically, what I've been researching is concrete permeability and crack healing, which is absolutely vital to the safe running and reliability and durability of a hyperloop, hyperloop network. Uh, what I found is uh, that concrete actually heals faster when exposed to a vacuum than, than it does when it's just on its own. Uh, and this, what this is, it's an early stage validation of uh, concrete as a building material, and it's just the start of a far larger research and development program. But we don't only think about tunneling or tube construction. The civil engineering aspects are endless, going from concrete composition to design of Hyperloop stations to passenger experience or how the Hyperloop interacts with the existing environment. Safe operation and construction of the Hyperloop system can be challenging. I mean, we're talking about a tube that stretches over hundreds of kilometers across the country and has to be airtight to hold a partial vacuum. Something like this has never been done before. We're essentially designing something from scratch without any guidelines or comparable projects. It's as challenging as it gets and that's what's so exciting and inspiring about it. Civil engineering is about building a future and the future is always changing. Who would not want a job like that? I got into engineering or civil engineering Probably because I loved building something when I was young, younger. I always used Lego, I was playing with train tracks and all that. But since I started studying civil engineering, I've discovered it's, it's not only that, it's not only construction or uh, building something. It's, it's really a way of connecting people and having an impact on the world and changing people's lives, making it easier for them. And that's what we're aiming for with the Hyperloop. We are civil engineers and we are reimagining the future of transportation.